Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Kevin. Today is the 24th of November 2020, Thanksgiving week, and I hope it is got off to a rip roaring start for you. What was yesterday? Monday? Hmm. Yeah, Monday was a good day for me. I um, have been in this bit of a reflective mood. Uh, thoughts of transformation, change, things hmm, that I want to um, give up and things I want to move through. Um, incidentally, it's so odd that the cards I pulled today um, are such great messages. Um, <clears throat> let's start with the first card. As I'm shuffling, sh she just popped out. It wasn't, I hadn't even put the cards together and split them. She just laid herself out. And that is the Lady of um, the Mirror. Um, and then I went to my own, I call it my own, but I've been sharing them with you. So they're ours. <clears throat> Angel Guide Oracle, the new deck from Kyle Gray. Um, and I got again, and I did it three times because I want to make sure I need to repeat this. And what do I need to do? And we've got um, Healing Energy. Uh Again, it flopped out. I thought, well, this is a leftover from yesterday. So I put them back together and mix them up, put them again. Here she comes. And then I thought, well, I'm not really sure. Let's see if there's another opportunity. And then bang, we go again. So um, <clears throat> all that to say, the healing energy card is really a direct message from spirit, from angels, from God, from whatever you believe is your higher self to say that um, indeed at times when we are tested and we are tested right now, know that step by step move forward and take some time to heal all the wounds, not just how you feel about death or illness or, you know, coronavirus, the flu, sudden death, whatever that is, that's part of it. But this also talks about a renewal and a return to the truth of who we are. Healing energy doesn't happen overnight. The healing energy that we have to work with takes a bit of time. And there are wounds that surface that are there for us to look at and pay attention to. How you choose to respond, how you choose to react to wounds or awkward feelings or even the, even the way that you, you treat yourself, whether you are someone who has a habit of um, diving into bad habits to avoid, like a filter, like a, well, let's just not worry about it right now because you don't know what to do. That's fine. But in the quietness, especially this time of the year, where so much is unpredictable, what is predictable is it's an opportunity to watch the patterns and to heal from the inside out, to heal from the ideas, the ideals, um, what's important, what's not important, um, and move on. Healing energy is energy. And it's also <clears throat> a nod, this card is a nod from the universe to say they are healing you, they're around you, they are guiding you and helping you, even though there's mayhem and chaos, there's healing energy around for you to return more to your natural state of being. The loving, kind, carefree, fun child that you were purposely built to be. The Lady of the Mirror brings in the element to look at the patterns of the past with not any judgment to look at where you might have said 
things about yourself and other people, I know I'm guilty of that, and made it mean something. Like, for example, something happens and we have to fill in the blank. And I've talked about this before. Filling in the blank is making sense of something, rationalizing, justifying. Oh, this person said this or that person said that. And we make it mean something. And typically we make it mean something about ourselves. Um, take it a step further. Look at it from outside of yourself and maybe ask in reflection, is that ultimately to my highest good? And is that ultimately a positive way to be? Especially when it comes to thinking you have to be a certain way, thinking you have to have a certain kind of friends, thinking you've got to solve a problem by acting a certain way or having a certain conversation or doing something. The lady in the mirror, the reflection says, look at where this has happened before. What did you do with it? And what was the outcome of it? You know, I've always said, it isn't what you say. It isn't the message or the letter. It isn't the news. It's how we choose to respond and move forward. You know, um, some of the books that Maya Angelou wrote, poems, pieces, they're profound. And you, I wonder, wow, you know, where was this woman when she wrote this stuff? Um, and then I look at reflection of myself and I've got a pad here somewhere where I have written a few things that... Um, I go back and I'll read them and I'm thinking, well, where did that come from? What was my head doing when I read that? For example, every statement that you make after I am matters. Um, there is a lot of Statements we make about ourselves, about other people. I'm trying to find something on here that I wrote. And I just write these crazy things down. Um, um, let's see. Things that, well, I can't think of them right now. I will. I promise you I will. They're in here or in somewhere. Sorry. Um, anyway. Use the energy of healing. And the energy, the Lady of the Mirror of Reflection to put a line in the sand and move forward with the observation that, oh, you are a work in progress. You are a painting that needs four dimensional, fifth dimensional, sixth dimensional. You're a piece of art. You know, Michelangelo made a crazy statement that he brings the statue out of the stone. The statue's already in there. He just chips away at the stuff that it doesn't need to make these beautiful pieces. Maybe that's what you do when you find yourself being stuck with personal growth and development. Perhaps you um, get creative. That could be cooking, drawing, painting, singing, listening to music. Create something. Sometimes making a creation of something is the way and the key to see what our behaviours are. You notice that you do something, you work at something, and you tell yourself, that's not good, or that doesn't look right, or mm, I don't like that. <gasps> oh, those are big telltale signs that you just created something. Stop making it mean something. Stop saying, that's not very good, or oh, I wish it was better. You can try again, for sure. You can always strive to commit to do better, to be 1% better. That's it. It's all anyone ever asks. What you shouldn't do is say you're no good, that you don't matter. What you're doing doesn't matter. It does. Everything after the word I am matters. All right, let's meditate. Feet flat on the floor as usual. Breath in. Let's take a long, tall spine, pull your shoulders up and back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Move 
move your neck around. There you go. Mm -hmm. I think for this morning, you can just lay your palms in your lap with your with your palms facing downward. Um, the palms facing down takes the energy inward. Self care. And it feels to me that this meditation is being guided toward you. Begin to connect with your breath. Bring your focus on the soles of your feet pressing into the core of the earth. Deep within the core of the earth are the anchors, the stones, the substrata, the hard crystalline rocks anchoring you. And scan your body. Pay attention to the major joints. The joining of one limb to its corresponding body part. Hips join the pelvis to the upper leg bones. Shoulders join the upper arm bones to the torso. Get as still as you possibly can. Connect with a deep breath in. Breathe in the healing light. Breathe in the angelic energy light. Release all negative judgment, all energies that you no longer want or need. Cut those binds. Find the freedom of your breath, the freedom of your physical body. Settle your mind into your third eye center. Visualize a doorway in front of you. And approach the doorway. If the door is closed, open it. The door is open, step through it. Out in front of you, over to the right, 
is a staircase leading downward. Pay attention to the steps that you're going to take. What do the steps look like? What do they feel like as you take each step? Gently, with intention, travel down the stairway. As you get to the bottom of the stairway, opens into a room. Out in front of you is a large mirror Pay attention to the frame. Just be in the experience of seeing the mirror across the room. Begin to approach the mirror And see your reflection, your reflection approaching you from the opposite direction. Move closer and closer to the mirror. Pay attention to what you see in the mirror, what you think in your mind and what you feel in your heart. Stand in front of your own reflection. Directly in front of a reflection of you. And pay attention to all the unique Features of your face. Start with your eyes. Are they open or closed? Reveal and see your nose and your lips, your cheeks and your ears. Notice what is perfect about them. And anything that you feel is imperfect. Continue looking, observing being with your reflection in the mirror and breathe in 
the healing energy when you come across or come upon part of your body that you have been unkind to. Continue looking at yourself in the mirror. Work down towards your feet. Pay attention to what you are wearing. Is your reflection the other part of you in the mirror wearing what you are wearing? Are you the same or are you different? What energy does your reflective self possess? Now gently in your mind's eye, your visualization, reach your left hand forward. Allow your reflective's right arm and right hand to connect and embrace your left forearm. your reflective self in the mirror is bringing you gifts from the greatest power, the greatest source that there is. You may ask your reflective self what you want, what you would like to manifest, what you would like to receive. What you would like to heal. What areas of, you, of your life you want to transform. Listen internally for the gifts. Let them flow from your reflective self to you. Reach your right arm forward in your mind's eye and your visualization. And place your forearm on top of your reflective self's left forearm.
Release and let go of self-harm, of self-judgment, of self-depravity, release and let go of all energies, thoughts, feelings that no longer serve your highest good. See that your reflective self has removed them from you and discarded them. Now, standing in front of your reflective self, See a glow coming down from above your reflection, a light, brilliant light, coming from directly above your reflection into the reflective heart. And keep the reflective heart in joining with yours. Allow the reflective self to step forward Continue reconciling all the binds that join you together. Start to see yourself Moving away from the mirror, notice what you see, notice how you feel, make your way over to the staircase. light the staircase and rise up As you reach the top landing approach the doorway step through. Make a choice to close the door behind you. Or keep it open.
turn to face the door and gently bring your attention and your consciousness to your present surrounding Once again, feel the earth under your feet. Feel what you're sitting on underneath your seat. Reconnect with your physical body, make some soft movements. Place your hands at prayer at your chest. Acknowledge and honour every part about you. Your beauty, your wisdom, your intelligence, your purpose. Lift your thumb knuckles to your third eye center. Together we bow and say, Namaste. Mm. There's always a sombre reflection that I feel when I um, come out of the meditation and I've also noticed in reflection, speaking of these two cards, um, and I'll give you a recent example, yesterday I got an email that created a reaction. It had to do with um, work, business, commerce. Um, well, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> the building where I rent sent an email saying that the power would be disconnected this coming Friday and there was no real concrete time other than 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. And it could be sooner. It seemed a bit wishy-washy. My immediate response was irritation, frustration, annoyance. It meant that I had to inconvenience other people. So rather than react, which I did briefly, I set about with the intention of rearranging a few folks and they gladly, gracefully did so. Then upon reflection, I realised I don't have to step into the frustration, the mire and the mayhem of a building with no power, can use it instead to do something else, to create something more, to be bigger and better. So the example I'm using is for you to see and notice quickly when you have a reaction to things that are similar. It shows up a lot when we have this expectation of events, of plans, especially now the holidays are coming up, the gift giving, what do you give, what should you give, the similar patterns of is your gift going to be received well, is it going to be enough? And the big one is the value of the gift you're giving other people matching the value of the gift they're giving you? That's a tough one. You cannot manage other people's expectations. You cannot be responsible for other people's feelings. You can only manage your own. So what I want to leave you with this morning is with the healing energy, and the Lady of the Mirror, 
Look at how you're reacting to things. Look at how you're responding to things. When you find you're going into, I call it the dark and ditchy place, <laughs> step back out, take a breath, remind yourself of the right response, the higher response. Certainly, if you want to have a hissy fit, have a hissy fit. But notice, what do you feel after you have a hissy fit? If you feel better and it gets it out there, hey, listen, I'm all for that. But if it's better to sit and reflect on what could I do with this time? What could I do with this situation? Or what could I do that's better? And then your reflective self will surely show you the answer. All right, my friends, listen. Have a great, great Tuesday. Thanks for sticking with me. Oh, I do have a something I want to add. If this helps you, if this you find something in this and you followed along, would you please comment, leave a comment so other people can sort of like, oh, yeah, I feel that way. All right. Enjoy. Lots of love. Have a great one. Bye.